made for your favorite stars as you've never seen them before. Stars like Michael J. Fox, Willie Nelson, Michelle Pfeiffer, Dustin Hoffman, Jodie Foster, Tom Selleck, and hosted by Joey Lawrence, Jerry Van Dyke, Jeannie Francis, Anthony Geary, and Ellen DeGeneres, plus many more of today's biggest and brightest stars, way back when, before they were stars. Hi, I'm Joey Lawrence. Tonight you're in for a real treat. You're going to see your favorite television, motion picture and recording stars at the very beginning of their careers, before they were stars. But I better warn you, you might not recognize these stars in the future, like the Hollywood hunk who went on a game show looking for love and lost, or the TV funny man who sang and danced about a cheeseburger, or the lovely young contestant you're about to meet in the first annual Before They Were Stars beauty pageant. Check it out. To all of you, here we go. The first name on the list is Delta Burke, and our state pageant is held in Orlando, Florida. Hi, my name is Michelle Fiber. I live in Midway City, and I represent Orange County. Good evening, I'm Vanna White. Halle Berry, Cleveland, Ohio. It won't be long now before we all learn who she is. Ladies, a softball player who also oil paints. She'd like to become an actress. Mexican food is her favorite, and her measurements are 33, 24, 34. Now, Miss Ohio, please. If you are the new Miss USA, what would you hope to symbolize to the American people? I would like to symbolize a very positive role model, not only for women, but for all the people of the United States. And through me, I hope that they could learn that no matter what race, color, religion, or sex you are, you can be whatever it is you want to become. Vanna White. Hi. I'm a professional model, and I'd like to advance my career in this business, and I enjoy meeting people. You're meeting lots of them tonight. Yes, Exciting so far, huh? Yes, it is. Oh, when a junior miss walks down the street, she looks a hundred per from head to feet. And just to look at her is quite a treat. It's hard to be a junior miss. Hey! Our next talented contestant, her name is Mary Hiram. She is Miss South Dakota, right here. before they were stars. Will it be Mary Hart, Michelle Pfeiffer, Diane Sawyer, Vanna White, Delta Burke, or will it be Halle Berry? And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the new Miss before they were stars, Diane Sawyer. When we return, our oldies but goodies countdown, featuring some musical blasts from the past. But first... Paging Mr. Ellis. Paging Mr. Ellis. Boy? Can you identify this handsome young bellboy? Stick around, we'll be right back with the answer. These fancy figures I got from MCR. The way I figure, they must use that new math. Because according to plain old arithmetic, I do better with that AT&T True USA savings. I spend 25 bucks a month, they subtract 20% from my bill. So I switched. I bet lots of folks would like my math better. Two out of three friends and family, basic or primetime users will save more with AT&T True USA savings. 20% off U.S. calls. Your true voice. 
McDonald's takes you back to bedrock. Fellow Lodge members, introducing one that is truly unique, one of extraordinary appeal, the Grand Puma Super Size Meal at McDonald's. A juicy McRib sandwich smothered in tangy sauce with super sized fries and a large coat. Last one of Rock Dogs is a fossil! Grand Puma meals for everyone! Order! Order! You're such Neanderthals. Mm -hmm. What you want is what you get at Rock Donald's today. Wednesday, where can you see Oscar winner Joe Pesci, Seinfeld's Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Roseanne's John Goodman, Danny DeVito, Rhea Perlman, and Barbara Walters. It's Sesame Street's All-Star 25th Birthday, Wednesday. Here on ABC. Bob Ellis? Robert Ellis, room 72. No, sir, Charles Ellis, room 607. You sure? Yes, sir. Oh. Taking Mr. Ellis. Mr. Ellis. I was one of those kids who practically grew up on television. While most kids my age were busy reading comic books, I was busy reading scripts. And you know what they say, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> hey, it's me. Joy, this is my big brother Willis. Hi, Willis. How you doing, Joy? All right, got a good grip there. I'm tough for my size. Don't let the haircut fool you. <laughs> TV's been great, but what I really love is music. And you're gonna love our Oldies But Goodies countdown, featuring some stars who went on to sing success and others who went on to singing in the shower. Take it away, Al. And now here's your host of Music Hop, Alec Trebek. Thank you, Norm, the fellows. From the World Series of Baseball to the World Series of Pop Music. This is it, you've heard about it, Music Hop. And every week at this time, we're gonna be bringing you some of the top tunes from the hit parade charts all across the country. Counting down from number seven. Coming in at number six. Johnny Angel. Number four. I'm talking quarter pound of beef on the hot, hot side. And the hot stays hot. The new big DLT. Hot, hot. Crisp lettuce and tomato on the cool, cool side. And the cool stays cool. The new big DLT. Cool, crisp LT. Nick D. LT. It's a good time. Hot, beefy Nick D. For the great taste. Cool, crisp LT. Of McDonald's. Could be the best tasting lettuce and tomato hamburger ever. New Nick D. Hier die strecken hakken trappen, hier die spijten hakken teel, hier die strecken hun verzwakken, die schreeuwen, die spijten jak kaput. Number two. And the number one song is... Now that's a song with a real hook. You know, to most actors, 
landing that first big role is serious business, but to others, it's all just fun and games. Now, before we start, let's have the gentlemen say good evening to you in their best voice. Number one, would you say good evening to Madonna, please? Howdy, Madonna. Thank you. Number two. Hello, Madonna. Let's meet our current players, Barbara Rachelson and Kirstie Alley. Tell us about yourself, Kirstie. Okay, I'm an interior designer. I moved here a year ago from Wichita, Kansas. I have no children. I have cats. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's present our first in-person guest, kids. Uh, young lady who's come here from Ozone Park, Long Island with a problem she wants you to solve. She's three and a half years old and her name is Bernadette Peters. Here she is. Bernadette? Hi, Bernadette. The Price is Right. Backstage, they have monitors that the fellows on the crew can watch what's going on out here, just like the monitors here. They're just like television sets. When Vanna was invited to come on down, one of them read her T-shirt where it says, Get Serious. And he said, I am. I am. <laughs> Vanna, what do you bid on that? You know, you're so busy looking at yourself on the monitor, you don't know what's going on. <laughs> what's your problem, Bernadette? My problem is that my mother wants to ride on buses and I don't want it. Your mother wants to ride on buses and you don't want to? What do you want to ride in? Taxi Sure, that's pretty nice. Taxi cabs, huh? And your mother wants to ride in buses. All right, there's the problem. Kids, any questions? Uh, Ronnie Maluzo? Well, why don't you want to uh, ride in a bus? Crowded. Too crowded? Mm-hmm. Any other questions, kids? Uh, Joe? How much money do you think your mommy and daddy has? A hundred dollars? <laughs> I think what Joe is trying to bring out is that it's... They spend it. What'd you say, Bernadette? They spend it on candy. <laughs> Rattlesnakes. Venom. Great! Oh! Oh! Yeah. I was afraid you were going to say rattle. <laughs> Good. For the game, Kirsty. Noisy. Tail. Venom. Rattlesnake. Is it a rattlesnake? You won the game! Number two. If you were to apply for a mail order bride, how would the order read? Uh, reasonably tall, good looking, uh, good personality, and, uh, not too inhibited. <laughs> Thank you. If you were a statue, what would you be doing and what would you be called? I'd be holding a fig leaf and, uh, <laughs> I'd be called nude. <laughs> this is the moment of truth now. Well, I think number three. Back to number three. Before we meet him, I'd like you to meet the gentleman you did not select. You did not select bachelor number two, and he rides tall in the saddle, too. He's six feet four. Varsity basketball player would like to be a businessman someday from Detroit, Michigan, Tom Selleck. Tom, come on and say hello to Madonna. It's about the right height, isn't it? Next up, Jerry Van Dyke and the latest scoop from the Before They Were Stars news team. But first... You may not recognize this laid-back college student, but he's one of primetime's funniest stars. Who is he? Stay tuned. Okay, guys. Yeah. Hey, Kristen, do you remember where we parked the van? There's only one minivan with a remote control sliding door, built-in child seats, anti-lock brakes, and driver's side airbag. Chevy Luna takes good care of your family. It even has composite body panels to take care of itself. Lumina. It looks different, 
because it is different. In 50 years, KFC has never changed the Colonel's chicken. Something that good isn't so easy to improve on, but we found a way. So we're changing it. Now our chicken breasts are a full third bigger than before. So come into KFC and we'll give you more of the taste you love. What if you could look 10 years younger, reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles? Discover new Alpha Ceramide Intensive Skin Treatment, the four-step Alpha Hydroxy system that improves the quality of skin. On average, 42 and up to 68%. You be the judge. Alpha Ceramide from Elizabeth Arden. Start the system for free. Steps 1, 2, and 3 are yours when you purchase Alpha Ceramide Step 4, a $100 value for only $55. Ever wonder what kind of mind would combine so many outrageous ingredients with frozen yogurt? Hmm, so do we. Introducing Yogurt Gone Crazy, a new line of hard scoop yogurt from Baskin Robbins, where wonders never cease. There's something new in Colgate Tartar Control Toothpaste that leaves your teeth feeling remarkably clean and smooth. Inside every tube is an amazing micro-cleansing formula. You can actually feel it in your mouth every time you brush. You'll know it's worked because it leaves your teeth with a feeling of clean. That speaks for itself. Getting teeth really clean takes Colgate Tartar Control. Tuesday. It's here. We're out of here. We're moving. When the house goes up for sale, Michelle tries to block the deal on the season finale of Full House. Then at a special time, two romantic episodes of Roseanne. Will you marry me? A proposal for Jackie and for Rosie, a dream right out of the soaps. Wow. Roseanne at a special time after Full House, Tuesday here on ABC. It's an all-new Wednesday. Why would a 25-year-old girl be interested in you? She thinks I'm a 32-year-old dermatologist. Brandy's computer girlfriend makes a surprise visit. I'm Molly. Good golly. Home improvement. Then, when Grace's son runs away, the trouble begins. Oh, you saw she could get away. <laughs> foolish, foolish boy. A new Grace Wednesday here on ABC. I wonder who this girl is next to me. Pretty nice looking, kind of. Better not say hi or she'll probably think I'm forward. Howdy. Gee, she didn't say nothing. Nah, she probably didn't hear. Or she might be afraid. Or maybe I'm just ugly. Maybe she's playing hard to get. That's it. I mean, she likes me. Wow. So, uh, you're in this class too, eh? Already something in common. That's a good sign. Our next host has been making television audiences laugh for over four decades. You know him as Luther Van Dam from the hit TV series Coach? Please welcome Jerry Van Dyke. Thanks, Joey. Before they let me co-host this show, I had to promise to reveal one of my first appearances. I can't believe it was 40 years ago when I made my television debut on Ed Sullivan's then Toast of the Town. Boy, was I nervous. Seems like I was out there forever. You know, I was just talking to Mr. Sullivan a minute ago, and according to how much time he wanted me to do out on his show tonight, because I didn't know exactly how long I was supposed to stay here. And he tells me that the way he runs his show is you get as much time as you have talent. For instance, if you have a terrific act and everybody enjoys you, why you stay out just as long as you want to. But if you're not quite so hot, he says it cut down a little bit on your material. <laughs> so in conclusion, I'd like to say... <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I wasn't out there very long after all. You know, when you're struggling to make it in show business, there are times when you don't know where your next meal is coming from. But these next stars were lucky. They landed roles early in their career they could really sink their teeth into. Turkey. Some folks just can't figure out Campbell's chunky sirloin burger. On the one hand, it's soup, so the feller can eat it with a spoon. On the other hand, it's got all these tasty little burgers made of real sirloin that a fella can eat with a fork. So is it a soup or is it a meal? Heck, that's easy. Chunky's the soup that eats like a meal. Oh, yeah. Frosting a cake. Will you look how easy it spreads? You're homemade. Yes, it's again. Can frosting? You're kidding. No. Betty Crocker frosting. It has to spread easier. It's homogenized. Mmm. Tastes creamier than your homemade, too. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I even like the chicken. The sauce is 
not too blue. Who is the weather, lady? How about some nice, fresh weather today? Rainy, cold, chance of snow. You sound like a broken record. Now, if you ate a good, hot breakfast, you sound like a person. Instant Quaker oatmeal. That's a good, hot breakfast. Warms you, nourishes you, fills your heart with love. That's instant person, baby. That's what the world needs now. And a little sunshine. Yes, I love my family. And they love rice a Did you know rice a gives you more for your money? Look, chicken or beef rice a gives you up to 33% more per package than the other brands. Count on it. It's from Golden Grain, and it's good. Ronald! 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 Hey, Ronald! Here I am, kids. Hey, isn't watching TV fun? Especially when you got delicious McDonald's hamburgers. Ronald, you can't be on TV and watch it at the same time. Now, come on and meet the boys and girls. Oh, we've already met. I know we're going to be friends, too, because I like to do everything boys and girls like to do. Especially when it comes to eating those delicious McDonald's hamburgers. A magic tray here keeps me well supplied. McDonald's hamburgers, french fries, and milkshakes. Watch for me on TV. We'll have lots of fun. Do many American students get diarrhea down here? Sure, sooner or later. But you know what, Mom? A lot of us participated in a test that American doctors ran. A diarrhea test? A scientific diarrhea clinical test. test. A real thing. A whole lot of students with diarrhea. The doctors gave our group Pepto-Bismol. Good old Pepto-Bismol! And did it work? Welcome to the Before They Were Stars evening update, where we bring you yesterday's news today. Our top story tonight, a major pileup on Highway 101. For more details, we go live on the scene to our reporter, Bob Sagan. Bob? The accident occurred when my car went through a red light. The mishap took place during rush hour while thousands of motorists were heading for home. Three lanes have now been cut off, so drivers are asked to take another route home. The situation is not being helped by a television newsman standing somewhere in the middle of the road delivering a report. Motorists seem to be getting a little angry as the traffic is beginning to back up for miles. This is your correspondent, Bob Saget here, first with the news, because heck, we are the news. Plus, Bob. <clears throat> and now for the news from Wall Street, let's go to our financial correspondent, John Tesh. John? The Dow Jones Industrials gained more than eight points in the New York Stock Exchange today to close at 825.64. Volume was 10,610,000 shares, and the average price per share gained 25 cents on the New York Exchange. What's wrong with the top? Oh, thanks, John. We sent our fashion correspondent, Barbara Walters, to Paris to check out all the new styles. Barbara? First of all, every day I had to go and look at fashion shows. And then I had to have lunch at Maxime's and drink champagne. And then I had to smell all the perfume at Dior. I mean, it was so trying that I took absolutely the very last plane I could to get back here today. Thanks, Barbara. Sounds like a really tough assignment to me. <laughs> all right, and now uh, for a look at the weather, here's our meteorologist, Pat Sajak. Pat, can you cut this off? Not much change so far as we're concerned. The high pressure will hold, and we can expect uh, sunny and pleasant days. And we'll keep a, an eye on Bill and let you know what's going on with her. By golly, this is Hermitage Landing. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Nice to see you. realize under the laws of Tennessee, we are now legally married, young lady. Thanks, Pat. This just in. There's trouble brewing on the 5th Street subway. Our action cam is on the scene. Let's go there now.
nice to know that there are still some concerned citizens out there who won't sit idly by. And now an all-star lineup in the world of sports. Andy Chu has the ball. He kicks. The ball is in the air. It looks like it is. It may. He scores! And that's just that classic game between Harvard and Princeton where that superman of the gridiron Dean Kane gets instructions from his coach. The clock is ticking down. Kane is getting ready for the big play of the game. Harvard lines up, quarterback drops back to pass. He runs to his right, and it's a long pass, and it looks like interception. Kane made the interception. Unbelievable! Finally, we go to the ringside where tough Tony Danza takes on his left opponent. It's a left, a right uppercut, another uppercut, another uppercut, a left, and a right uppercut, and he's down, but it looks like Danza has scored a knockout. And I believe he has! And that's the way it was. I'm Walt Jerry Van Dyke. Coming up next, Jeannie Francis and Anthony Geary give us the dish on stars who started on soaps. But first... Yes, sir. Who's that work in the fast food counter? Well, he's been serving up hit shows for more than 15 years. Can you name him? Break the rules. Stand apart. <laughs> Keep your head. Go with your heart. The world is wide. And anything, anything can happen. Introducing V, the vibrant new scent by Vanderbilt. Any tear-free shampoo is okay for your baby. Not my baby. Just because a shampoo claims to be tearless, that doesn't mean it has Johnson's patented No More Tears formula. It's as gentle to eyes as pure water. No wonder more hospitals use it. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Johnson's baby shampoo. Because your baby is all that matters. People have tried to hide it, stun it, even burn it. Well, Skippy came up with a whole new idea. We cut it. Introducing new Skippy Reduced Fat Peanut Butter with 30% less fat, plus the delicious Skippy taste you crave. So now you can spread it, devour it, and just plain love it. New Skippy Reduced Fat Peanut Butter. Cut the fat, don't cut out the Skippy. Wow. Monday, should Joe Burrows die? I want you to believe I'm innocent because I am. In this twisted whodunit, now even the witnesses say he's innocent. Does he belong on death row? You decide. Forrest Sawyer. Day one, Monday. Before they were stars, we'll be right back after this. Tuesday, it's romance soap style. Will you marry me? A proposal for Jackie and for Rosie, a dream right out of the soaps. An all-new Roseanne. Then, Hayden takes the wheel with racing pros Bobby Unser and Rick Mears. You guys are geniuses! The season finale of Coach. After Roseanne, Tuesday here on ABC. What is cool? Does who you hang with make you cool? Yo, B, check me out! I'm funky. Uh, maybe not. Hey, wait. These dudes are cool. Whoa, bro, I'm totally cool. Nah, maybe going prep is cool. Hey, Buffy. <laughs> now that is not cool. If I was like this guy, then I'd be cool. I need a cold drink. What should I drink? Give your brain a rest. Obey your thirst. Sprite. Who should I drink it with? It's no secret how kids feel about white bread. But there is something you may not know. Delicious butternut white bread checks out healthy, too. No saturated fat, high in complex carbohydrates, no cholesterol. So you can feel as good serving butternut as your kids do eating it. Butternut white bread really is good. Which is why every meal with butternut white bread makes for a very happy ending. Our money pro with financial advice after the movie. Uh, give me a taco and uh, make that two tacos. Two tacos? Okay. What, what's that? 
That's a burrito supreme. Sour cream, fresh lettuce and tomatoes. Ooh, I'll have one of those instead. Burrito supreme. Wh what's that? Oh, that's a tostada. I have one of those too. Okay. Wait a minute. Now let's go behind the scenes of General Hospital for a visit with everyone's favorite soap opera couple, Jeannie Francis and Tony Geary. Thanks, Joey. This is quite a switch, isn't it? Having cameras in our living room at night? Yes, that's because tonight we are co-hosting Before They Were Stars, remember? Yes, I do. <laughs> Most of you got to know us as Luke and Laura in the 70s. But that isn't where our careers began, is it? No. No, no, no. <laughs> you want to tell the folks how you got started? Well, I wasn't always sweet little Laura. Three months before I started on General Hospital, I played Evil Alice in an episode of Family. Here it is. Who would have thought you were such a sneak under that little baby face? Sneak? You know about TJ and me. What about you? He's my boyfriend, and you know it. Hey, relax, Alice. I just want to practice and win the contest. And a hundred dollars, okay? Well, not exactly. I want to keep TJ and win the hundred dollars. And I think I can get what I want. Honey, that was a little scary. Pretty nasty, huh? I loved it. <laughs> I love you like that. <laughs> Tell them about one of your early performances. One of my earliest was on one of television's greatest hits, All in the Family. Here's Roger. Hey, how was the trip? Fabulous. Mike, it was the most super trip. In fact, it was an absolutely stunning, exhausting, incredible experience. Well, when is he going to land? <laughs> Nicely done. Not so sure about that outfit, though. Really? I almost wore that jacket tonight. <laughs> you know, we thought it might be fun to put together our own little daytime drama featuring some stars you probably wouldn't expect to find in a soap opera. We call it Soap Dish. A little bit of soap will never wash or we might <laughs> Haven't I said what everyone wants to hear? What you want everyone to hear? That I am a common hooker like Katrina Carr? That Marco Dane was my kid? Is that what you want me to say? What do you want from me? You are blonde. You want me to say that I'm lower than the lowest piece of scum? You want more filth? You want more slime? You want more names? I'll give you another name, Calvin Huddleston! Well, you know, with all the publicity and strange people knowing my name, it's gonna be different, but I think I can handle it. I know you can. Everyone on campus is talking about you. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of it. Yeah, the really neat thing is people are coming to me and asking what it's like to be the star athlete's girlfriend. And what do you tell them? It's not uncommon in cases of drug overdose. This is not an overdose. My daughter was poisoned. Please wait outside. Don't start with that. What? Every time someone criticizes you, you get out of it by agreeing with them. You're right. It's a bad habit. Well, there you go again. Okay. Okay. Let's come out with it, huh? You're upset about something. You won't talk to me about it. I have told you over and over. It's just that you won't listen. <laughs> I try not to. I want it in 20 minutes. Oh, come on. A an hour. Half an hour. You're all heart. That's what they tell me. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey, you're looking a little hard there. Let's go to lunch. Oh, that's news to me. Why? I thought we'd go dine al fresco or something. Another hot dog in the park. Yeah, what do you say? Uh, listen, it's too cold. Besides, I have to get all of this out in half an hour. Scotty's all alone. He really needs me. Yeah, well, don't make yourself too available. Yeah. Uh, I get it. Baldwin, Baldwin, Baldwin. Is, this, is it easy here? Uh, listen, I'm terribly sorry. Scotty Baldwin's office. May I help you? Uh, yes, just one moment. Uh, Mr. Baldwin is the district attorney on line one. Okay? Mr. Baldwin? That's cute. Oh, what would you rather me call him, darling? How long since you've had soap on your face, Shelley? Oh, months. Maybe even years. Well, let's see how Cam A feels. Very silken and very light. It has a, um, a lubricant quality that feels like it. It's almost as though there's 
There's a lubrication between your hands and your face. How's your skin feel? No, it feels very soft. It feels like it's a very good thing for your skin. So, uh, what's Brad say about the baby? He must have blown his mind. I really have to go now. You have told him, haven't you? I said I can't talk about it. Well, then I'll talk about it, okay? Look, I know you guys are going through some kind of heavy deal right now. How do you know? Well, because I can see how torn apart you are. Now, you tell the man about the baby less. No, Snapper. I won't use my pregnancy to get my husband back. Either he wants me for myself or he doesn't. Les, will you listen to me? Tell the man you're having his baby. Let's tell the man. Every morning and every night for the rest of our lives, you will serenade me. came up here from Tennessee and everything was so new and so different. I never thought there'd be anyone like you in my future. Ned, don't. April, please. you gotta know by now, I love you. Love scene may look like a lot of fun, but it can be a real challenge, especially when you're first starting out. Like this next group of actors who began their careers with stars in their eyes and love in their hearts. Good night, Ted. Good night, Dwina. shrinks up tight, holds real good. I know that. You do? Well, ain't you gonna eat breakfast? In a minute. Well, stay inside. Hey, Drew. Yeah? What would a boy have to do to make you like him? I... I don't know for sure. Well, if you think of something, tell me. All right? All right. If I think of something... Can I buy you a soda? Uh, lime freeze would be nice. Waiter? A lime freeze for the lady, and I'll have another chocolate soda. Waiter. Make mine a double. Do you think you've had enough? I guess I'm looking for courage in a soda glass. Julie. I guess you know the way I feel about you. I know. And? Well, I like you, Danny. It's just that... Well, I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. Oh. Maybe in time. Sure. There's no reason we can't look at this maturely. Right. After all, we're not kids anymore. Here you go, kids. <laughs> Would you like some of my fries? Oh, yeah, thanks. I, I kind of ate all mine already. Hey, would you like a napkin? I got a couple here, really. No, thanks. 
I'm fine. Great. Gee, it's getting kind of late, huh? Yeah. I really had a great time tonight. Me too. I guess I better get going, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Um, swear? Huh? Nothing. Hey, Tony, what's with the hat? Just trying to get in the mood. <laughs> for what? <laughs> for a salute to country music. So grab your partner and settle back for a look at today's hottest country music performers before they were stars. <laughs> Here's a little gal that I know you're going to really learn to love because she's a fine singer and one of the finest little gals that I've ever met. Let's give her a great big welcome as she sings a song that she had a big hit on called Dumb Blonde. She ain't no dumb blonde, though. Pretty Miss Dolly Parton. How about it? Santa Fe this morning on AM Oklahoma, and I'm visiting with Garth Brooks. And uh, Garth, how long have you guys been together? About four days now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell the truth. Really, um, we've been, just four have been together about two months, and we just picked up Mike the Fiddle over there Saturday night. Now, you guys aren't full-time musicians, are you? What do you do uh, in your spare time, if you have any? Um, I work at Dupree Sports. Oh, well, look at there. they got a sporting goods company there in Stillwater. Here they are, the Soap Sisters, Naomi and Winona. My mom said, she learned to sew and cook. My mom said, if I do good food, I always do what my mama said. I save my prayers to She tells me, don't you smoke, don't drink that wine. Oh, fashion girls have the best time. My mama said, Willie, boy, it's been a long time, man. It has been a long time. We're right. awful glad to have you join us. Last time I had the pleasure of working with you and the boys, it was cold weather. It, it, it was snowing, snow, man. this deep. <laughs> you ain't kidding. Willie, uh, we'll talk about some of the songs you've written a little later. Do us a pretty song. All right. I'd like to do a song. This is uh, a brand new one of mine. Well, she's not for you. Pay no mind to her. She only wants to play She's not for you She's not for you And I am the only one Who would let her act this way But she's not for you Still to come, Ellen DeGeneres caught in the act in her first TV appearance. Plus, they're rough, they're tough, they're Hollywood's bad boys. But first... Hi. Each working day, I walk from Los Angeles to New York. This is the time when a girl really needs a little support. Let me tell you a secret I have. Speaking of 
Santa's secrets. Can you guess the secret identity of this perky flight attendant? The answer's coming up next. There's something new in Colgate Tartar Control Toothpaste that leaves your teeth feeling remarkably clean and smooth. Inside every tube is an amazing micro-cleansing formula. You can actually feel it in your mouth every time you brush. You'll know it's worked because it leaves your teeth with a feeling of clean. That speaks for itself. Getting teeth really clean takes Colgate Tartar Control. To get into JCPenney's exclusive hunt club, you do have to follow a fairly strict dress code. But we don't think you'll mind. Not if you like cold cotton, brushed denim, and cool, crisp linen. J.C. Penny! If you like a classic brand of clothing with a casual kind of attitude, you belong in Hunt Club. Besides, we've got a great clubhouse, and the fees are quite reasonable. J.C. doing it right! Debbie, these shots are fabulous. Beautiful, Debbie. Better than the last time, Tony? Absolutely. It's my job to make sure people look good. A few weeks ago while doing test shots with Debbie, I noticed something. Dandruff. So I told her about Head and Shoulders. You see, regular shampoos merely rinse flakes away, so they could come back. But look, Head and Shoulders help stop flakes from even forming. See the difference? Yeah, picture perfect. Head and Shoulders turns dandruff problems into beautiful hair. What a great day to buy a car. I thought the days of women being treated differently oh than men were long gone. This is the vanity mirror, so you can check your makeup. Then I tried to buy a car. Something reliable. It's safe. Sporty. How much you looking to spend? I want to spend about $12,000. Rich can help you out. I'll be back to you soon, okay? When I got to Saturn, Dave Pierce took the time to answer all my questions. Not only did I buy a Saturn, I thought it might be fun to sell them. You know what I like best about working here? Showing guys the vanity mirror. Never have two hearts. You are beautiful. Waited for so long. It's the day I've dreamed of. To become one. Nothing's gonna stop us now. Tad and Dixie, the wedding you've been waiting for. All my children here on ABC. Lori Loughlin had everything she dreamed of until a fellow cop took everything away. Charlie Lloyd raped me. Now one woman stands alone. Ah, you haven't got a prayer. They're enforcing the code. I don't think that this is worth it anymore. If you quit now, they win, hands down. With Reginald Bell Johnson and Martin Sheen, one of her own, Monday on ABC. This is a time when a girl really needs a little support. Let me tell you a secret I have. A two-ounce undie display. Magic Lady by Exquisite Form. Stretches to three times the size in both directions to slim you comfortably, whether you weigh 150 pounds or 95. I, I could make a cross country without my two little ounces of slim. Now to see how some famous funny people got their start. Let's check in with TV's hottest new comedian, the star of ABC's These Friends of Mine, Ellen DeGeneres. Thank you, Joey. What a handsome fella he is, huh? Well, before they were stars, I guess for me, I'd have to go clear back to, um, last Tuesday. <laughs> before that, nothing. All of a sudden, bang, huge star. I have someone who pets my dogs for me now. Anyway, I uh, actually have been struggling doing comedy for over 10 years. And, uh, well, I'm fair game. Like everybody else on the show, here's a clip of me when I first started. And I apologize for any hairstyle or clothing I might be wearing. But remember, back then, it was pretty. The woman always talks for the baby, doesn't she? She's... Say, my name's Tammy. Say, I'm four weeks old. Say, I'm cranky because I didn't have a nap today. And mommy dropped me. <laughs> what kind of friends did I have back then? That's a good look. Wear your hair like that. Oh, man. You know, I guess the scariest thing about stand-up, really, is... Um, just standing. That's exhausting. You're standing for so long. I mean, uh, you could get tired. Flamingos, they stand all the time and they change legs. If you notice that about them, they'll stand with one leg and they'll stand with another leg. And uh, that's because they know it's exhausting. They don't even have to tell jokes, flamingos. You never see them telling jokes. They're shy. Anyway, stage fright didn't stop this next group of stars from joking their way to the top. Take a look at them. Can I have the whipped cream, please? <laughs> well, under what? Oh. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I know this really looks stupid. <laughs> and it looks like there's no explanation for what I just did, but let me explain. You see... <laughs> Boy, do I feel stupid. <laughs> This is a very exciting day. We're all so nervous. I've been nervous all day. I do everything I can to, to get ready. I even went to the doctor today, got a checkup. I hate getting undressed in front of him. He's a good eye doctor, though. <laughs> I work a lot of comedy clubs around the country, and I feel like kind of a spokesperson for women. I think men should listen to me. I think you guys can learn something, really. You want to know what I find attractive on a man? Cash. <laughs> I'm at that age now, realizing men in relationships, we get hurt. But well, we hate to let women know we're hurt. I know one relationship I was in, I told my lady, I said, I'm a man. I tried my facial expression and everything. I said, I'm a man. I got things I want to do. If you don't like it, you pack your stuff and you get out. But once you leave, it was a different story. Because I'm a man. Wait a minute, please. <laughs> right? And it's, it's wild, though, because women are the same way. They get hurt, right? And they, don't like, and they don't like to let men know they're hurt, right? And then they start crying on you, but they get their head and the body moving going. Because you could just tell your lady, baby, I'm going out. She said, oh, you're going out? Okay, well, let me tell you something. You going out without me? Okay, good. And you have a real good time, all right? And you, you no, 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 you go, Mr. Go Out Man. <laughs> that tough? You gotta be tough to be in this business. I'm trying to get a tough thing going for me. A lot of rejection. Got a kind of cop an attitude, you know what I'm saying? Kind of let people know who is... That's not really an attitude, is it? That's kind of like a kind of pigeon move. But that'll scare people. That's what's important. Take a look at these bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. Oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you... as simple as it looks. I didn't want to hurt Richie. I didn't want to hurt your husband. I heard that word. Diamonds. And I told myself I'm going to go get them. And all of a sudden I hear his gun go off. And he falls down. So now I gotta go to jail. I'm afraid. I'm really afraid. Come on. What you gonna do when they come for you? You must not fail, Zero M. This mission is critical. unusual weapon. It is specially designed for counter-espionage, for Agent Zero M. It's called the Zero M Sonic Blaster. This is why. It fires a massive blast of compressed air, and this tremendous roar is the actual sound. For training purposes, this special delayed action target comes with it. Remember the password. Zero M. So I, I pick a 
pack of carefree peppermint up and ponder this. Bursting with flavor. What is this burst? Is it a bang? A blast? A bust? So I give it a go, and whoa! It's like a moonshot in my mouth. An explosion of perfect peppermint St. Helens. Not a blip, not a bit, a whole definite burst. Which gets me thinking, for a burst of flavor, there's a million things you could chew that still wouldn't add up to carefree. So if you've got a friend, a neighbor, or someone you don't even know, clue them into the big burst theory of carefree peppermint sugarless gum. Bursting with flavor. So, did you hear about the big AT&T deal? Well, if you spend $25 a month on AT&T Long Distance, you can get AT&T True USA savings. 20% off your calls to anyone, anywhere in the USA. And if that wasn't big enough, AT&T True Rewards, with points good for free frequent flyer miles and free AT&T minutes. You won't get this big deal from MCI or Sprint, but to get it, you gotta call AT&T. You're true. Things have gone wacky at McDonald's. I'm hungry. So what else is new? With the new Animaniacs Happy Meal. May we take your order, please? Thanks. We're starved. Now you can go wacky with the McDonald's Hamburger Happy Meal for just $1.99. There are eight different wacky wheelers that pop up and down or go round and round. Excuse me. Are you going to eat that? Not now. One with each Happy Meal you buy your kids. Well, it's that time again. For another cheeseburger? No, but the end of the commercial. What you want is what you get. Someday I'm going to find those singers. And you got us today. Next, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Go! Now! Out of the car! Right now! And Linda Hamilton in a network television premiere. That's a nice break. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Next on ABC, parental discretion advised. Well, that's our show, folks. Tonight we've seen that there are very few overnight success stories in show business. If you want to be a star, you have to be willing to pay your dues. Whether it's making the most out of a bit part in a movie, singing your heart out in an amateur talent contest, or starting your stuff on a local beauty pageant. <laughs> hey, everyone has to start somewhere, but for now, here's where it's going to end. We'll be back next time with more of your favorite celebrities before they were stars. I'm Joey Lawrence. See you around. This is Joan London. And Charles Gibson. We're heading north to Alaska to spend a whole week exploring America's largest state, practically a country of its own. Be a part of the Great Alaska Adventure on Good Morning America tomorrow here on ABC. Stay tuned for Terminator 2 Judgment Day on the ABC Sunday Night Movie. Next.